They start getting a little more tricky here because there will be two columns of data. Samantha, Zoe and Hassan try a different street. When they have finished, they compare how many chocolate wafer bars and how many jelly snakes they have each collected. We need to put the information in the table as we read it. Samantha has collected two chocolate wafer bars, so we can put two under the column for chocolate wafer bars, and three jelly snakes, so we can put three under the column for number of jelly snakes. Zoe has collected only one jelly snake, so we put one under the jelly snakes next to Zoe's name, but has three times as many chocolate wafer bars as Samantha. I just want to fill this table in as quickly as I can, so I'm just going to put a question mark there for now, because there might be some more information that I'll need. Hassan has collected four chocolate wafer bars, so I can put that next to Hassan and beneath the chocolate wafer bars, and as many jelly snakes as Samantha and Zoe together. So I'm going to put a question mark there. Now I'm going to go back and see if I have the information I need to replace those question marks with values. The first one, we need to know how many chocolate wafer bars Zoe collected. For Zoe, it says she has collected three times as many chocolate wafer bars as Samantha. So we look at how many Samantha collected, which is two. Zoe had three times as many. Two times by three is six. The next unknown value is how many jelly snakes Hassan collected. Hassan has collected as many jelly snakes as Samantha and Zoe together. So we look at how many jelly snakes Samantha collected, how many Zoe collected, add those together, three add one, that's four. The five friends meet up again and compare how many decorated pumpkins and black cats they'd spotted. Zoe saw 22 pumpkins and 10 cats. Hassan saw 12 cats and four fewer pumpkins than Zoe. Samantha saw twice as many cats as Hassan and 10 pumpkins. Anna saw half as many pumpkins as Zoe and 15 cats. Tom saw three times as many cats as Zoe and 10 pumpkins. You're going to put this information in the table and then work out the missing information. Pause the video, have a go. Starting with A. Zoe saw 22 pumpkins, so beside Zoe and beneath number of pumpkins we can put 22. And 10 cats, so we can put 10 beside Zoe and under the number of black cats. Hassan saw 12 cats, so we can put the 12 there beside Hassan for the cats and four fewer pumpkins than Zoe. So I'm going to put a question mark in there for now. Samantha saw twice as many cats as Hassan. So I'm just going to put a question mark under cats beside Samantha's name. And she saw 10 pumpkins, so we can put that in. Anna saw half as many pumpkins as Zoe. So I'm going to put a question mark in there, come back to that. And she saw 15 cats. And Tom, saw three times as many cats as Zoe, so I'm just going to put a question mark under cats beside Tom, and ten pumpkins. Now with the information we have, we can work out which values should be where those question marks are. The first one, how many pumpkins did Hassan see? It says he saw four fewer pumpkins than Zoe. So we look at how many pumpkins Zoe saw, which was 22, and we take four away. So Hassan must have seen 18 pumpkins. The next one, we need to know the number of black cats Samantha saw. So looking at the information for Samantha, she saw twice as many cats as Hassan. Hassan saw 12 cats, so Samantha must have seen 24. The next question mark is how many pumpkins Anna saw. Anna saw half as many pumpkins as Zoe. Zoe saw 22 pumpkins, which means Anna must have seen 11. 
And finally, how many black cats did Tom see? Tom saw three times as many cats as Zoe. If Zoe saw ten cats, that must mean that Tom saw thirteen.